Amen. I bless the name of the Lord. Good to have everybody in the service, and we appreciate uh, the goodness of God allowing us to come together. We so blessed we get to go to church twice. Amen. On the Lord's Day. I appreciate the privilege of being here. Good to have several visitors with us tonight. And of course, if you're saved, there's nothing in the world that will make you feel home like the sweet, precious Holy Ghost. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord will just uh, fix everything. Amen. It'll do more in one second than we can do all night long. And uh, But if you come in the name of the Lord tonight, I, I just... Uh, I've got a feeling that God will have something special for each one of us tonight. I do. I feel like God has got something good tonight. So let's all stand to our feet and invite the presence of the Lord in the service tonight. Amen. Let's get right in tonight. Push and try to get in and have a good time in the Lord. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we love you tonight. Uh, we ask you, Lord, to bless this service. We pray tonight the sweet spirit of God uh, would move in the meeting. We ask you tonight, Lord, that the sweet Holy Ghost would uh, just overshadow this service tonight and the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, would raise up them that are down and them, Lord, that are depressed, them, God, that has just, just down in their faith. I pray for them. Uh, tonight, Lord, that you'd lift them up high. And then, Lord, if there's any lost or maybe, Lord, cold or lukewarm on you, we pray tonight that uh, they'll find what they need in Jesus. God, you've been so good to us. We thank you for the service this morning. And, uh, God, we're hungry again tonight, Lord. We don't ever uh, get tired of feeling your power, God, your touch tonight. We've come to worship you, Lord, to lift your name on high. God, we've met in the name of Jesus. God, we love you and honor you for it all. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're going to ask everybody to can. Let's make another attempt of this choir sing. Praise the Lord. Everybody can and will. Come on, sing tonight. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Amen. You see, we got a lot of folks on vacation, a lot of folks out, and we need all the help we can get. Praise the Lord. Everybody can come. And amen. Ask the Lord to help us sing tonight. Praise the Lord. I hope the Lord wears all y'all out now that can sing and won't sing. Praise the Lord. Sing for a blessing. Come on, Mama. You know I want in here. I want a blessing. Praise the Lord. Yes, he says she raised her. How many of you have sang for a blessing? I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building, working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. If I was a liar, I'd tell you what I'd Oh, 
we sing it, Tom? Anybody got one? Huh? I'm looking. 120. Then Brother Arnold said, what, what'd you say? 350. We'll get it next. Oh, I thought he meant 350 just picture in two. That's what I thought too. All right. Praise the Lord. I heard it all. Which one y'all going to? 350?
Let's all set and sing this together. Come on, folks, let's get up and sing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to get up here and sing unless it looks good when we can sing to you. Thank you. Amen. Whatever you can, you can get them. Praise the Lord. You, you tell me. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord tonight. Has anybody got a prayer request or something on your heart? Uh, his wife called, called uh, another one. 
a snow plow thing in front of our old mules. Mm-hmm. for that anyone else. before we come pray. Well, I don't know a lot, but there's one thing I do know, and there's power in prayer. It's the only time, really, that we have that one-on-one connection with God is when we get alone in our prayer closet or we get alone and pray. And we can intercede and we can find and we can really get somewhere if we can find a hold and we can really get a hold of it. And I got to thinking about medicine, pain medicine. When you take it, it finds what your body is aching, what's going on. It don't know, that pill don't know where your pain is, but your body takes that pill and it positions it to where it can help you. Yes. And that's exactly how prayer works. But the only difference between that is it don't take 30 minutes for prayer to set in. He knows exactly what you need right then and there. Yeah. Amen. Let's all come in and pray and we'll anoint Lakin and we'll anoint Sister Kim. So I'll come in and pray. Everybody can do it. In the name of Jesus.
Clive Curtin, grace and heaven, Father, Lord, we come before tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before tonight, Lord, upon his behalf of these priests, upon behalf of these priests, tonight, Lord, we take you down, Lord, to touch each other, Lord, take you to sort of lead down, Lord, and touch us tonight, Lord, you know the needs of the Lord, the one that came that day, have trouble sleeping tonight, Lord, the other one, Lord, that has trouble sleeping tonight, Lord, that's another one, Lord, that has trouble sleeping tonight, Who's going to be first to come sing tonight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Somebody testify while we're here. for saving me and all it's done for me and for answering a prayer for me. Every time I try Blessing buried in the 
You certainly will. Ain't a thing wrong with that, brother. Right? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Why, that ain't about you. You can pray for me anytime. Set esteem each other better than yourself. Amen. Our Father, in the name of the Lord, we ask you, God, to help Brother John tonight. I know, Lord, that you were able, God, to lift him up, Lord, and had me feeling very well. But tonight I know, God, that you got the power, God, to raise him up. You got the power, Lord, to do great and mighty things tonight, God. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for Brother Clyde. I pray you bless him. God, tonight, Lord, we believe in Power and prayer. We believe it tonight. I God that you're able, Lord, to do great things. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless you, Brother John. Amen. That's all right, Brother Clyde. Praise the Lord. Amen. Has anybody else got a song? I know we got some singers in here. Praise God. Somebody testify when she gets up here and sings. Savior wrote my name when I was born again. He wrote it when he saved my soul. He wrote that I had made the right by every sin for all. He wrote my name on heaven's roll. He wrote my name way up in glory. glory. He saved my soul. Jesus saved my soul.
Who's going to be next? Tracy, you got a song? You ain't got one? Come on. Anybody else got a song before we turn the preacher loose? Any of you got one? We'll pray for the preacher. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with us to the book of Jeremiah. Appreciate the good Lord. Amen. We're going to try to preach just a few minutes tonight. Sure need this. I know everybody's congested and don't feel very well. And uh, allergies is really, really bad on everybody. And uh, we just trust in the Lord. God will help us tonight. Amen. Y'all going to pray for me? I hope you will. I do. I do desire your prayers tonight. The Lord would help us. But the Lord has, has put something on my heart. I really felt like maybe we'd preach it this morning, but the service just went a different way. And uh, But I feel like preaching this tonight. I love to brag on the Lord. How about you tonight? Do you love to brag on Jesus? Amen. I, are y'all hot back there? You want me to turn some air on? Yeah, all right. I'm not scared. Praise the Lord. If all you good sisters start putting the blankets on, you blame it on Jacob. Amen. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 10. Let's all stand to our feet tonight. Praise the Lamb of God. The Lord gave me these scriptures the other day while I was in the woods of praying. And I looked them up. He brought them back to my mind. I'd read the book of Jeremiah some months ago. And uh, we the, he just brought it in our spirit. And we went and looked it up, and uh, we just uh, been a saying it all week, really. I've been a saying it all week, and uh, I'd like to use it for a text tonight. In verse number 6, that's all that we'll read, chapter 10. In verse number 6, it said, For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Praise God. That's all we'll read tonight. Amen. In your seating, I'd like to read it again, if that's okay. I was uh, uh, in the woods of praying, and I got to I got to getting connected. If you know what I'm talking about, Amen. I got to I got to feeling the Lord, brother Mad, and I began to praise God and magnify God, and that is calmly uh, tonight among the saints of, of of His people tonight. The Bible uh, said, "Let the redeemed of the Lord say so." I don't expect a sinner man to come in here and testify. I don't expect a sinner man to come in here and say, let me sing, let me sing. Amen. But I believe tonight them that are redeemed, uh, they ought to say so. Well, I began to uh, get hooked up with God in my prayer, and I began to just uh, rehearse this uh, in Jeremiah chapter number 10. And over and over and over, I kept saying, uh, there is no God like our God. Amen. There is no God uh, like our God. Can you say that with me tonight? Tonight, there is no God like our God. There is no God like our God tonight. And I'm certainly thankful tonight that I serve the awesome God. Uh, when I think about him and I, uh, when we say something like that, we'll maybe look at a grandchild or uh, maybe look at one of our children and we just, our heart is so wrapped up in love for them. Uh, we'll just look at them and say, boy, I mean, they just ain't nothing like them. And hey, amen. I believe tonight that there's a few times in our Christian walk after God does something miraculous uh, uh, that we can step back on the other side uh, and begin to rehearse what Jeremiah said. Uh, hey, man and say there is no God, a brother like my God tonight. Amen. Who else in the world a brother could do what God has done? Well, I'd like to look just a few minutes tonight at the awesome power that he had. The Bible said that this world was dark. Amen. It was void. It didn't have any being to it. And the Bible said that God looked at the earth being void and without form he said, let there be light. And the Bible said the light 
tonight. I shine up in darkness. Amen. I want to say it again tonight. I may say it several times in the next few minutes. When God said, let there be light, I believe we could say tonight, there is no God. A brother like her God. The Bible said the stars that no man can number them tonight. He man in the circle of this earth. But God Almighty, amen, took the stars. Now you imagine this. The Bible said they was in his hand and he just stole the stars out. Brother, and he named every one of them one by one. Praise God. Amen. Look what he did tonight. He made the heavens and the earth. Brother, somebody said, uh, brother, how powerful is he? Uh, well, the Bible said heaven is his throne uh, and earth is his footstool tonight. Uh, that's the power that he has. Uh, brother, there is no God, uh, a friend like our God, uh, the power and the enmity uh, that he had tonight. Uh, amen. Took something out of nothing. Uh, and let's look at what he did. Uh, the trees and the heaven, uh, they declare his handiwork uh, and the glory. Uh, you look at the ocean out there and the line from which it came. That's the God that we serve tonight. Amen. You can tell I'm a little congested, but I'm going to keep on a saying it. Amen. I'm not a bit nervous about it. There is no God, a brother like her God. When I was a praying, it seemed like the robins was a joining in and they was a chirping hallelujah. It seemed like the leaves and the trees began to clap their hand and I could hear them say together, there is no God, a brother like her God. Uh, well, let's look here just a minute. Amen. At the God of provision. Amen. He's nobody to be likened unto. That's what Jeremiah was a saying. Uh, there's none likened unto him. And the Bible said uh, that one time, oh, Peter, I uh, come to Jesus uh, and said, now, Peter, uh, Peter said, now, Lord, uh, we've got to pay taxes. Uh, and should we pay uh, and give tribute unto Caesar? Uh, and the Lord said, now, Peter, uh, lest any should be offended. I go down to the sea. Amen. You don't have to find a night crawler. And you ain't got to find something to put on your hook. But just cast your hook in. And the Bible said, Amen. When Peter done that, that God had a little fish, a brother down there in the sea. And inside of that fish's mouth was the money there. Amen. To go pay the taxes. Well, I believe, oh, Peter. Amen. After he went down. And the Bible said that he caught that fish and he broke that out. And inside of that fish's mouth, I praise God, was the money. I believe old Peter looked up and said, There is no God I like this God. Can you say that tonight? Praise God. Amen. You ought to brag on him tonight. He's blessed you beyond all measure. He's been better to you than you have to him. He's given to you everything that you need. He's given you everything. A brother made provision for you when there was none. Well, brother, not only is he a God of provision, he's a God that fights the battle. I wonder how Moses felt when he went out there and the Bible said that the enemy was behind him. Here come old Pharaoh, a brother trying to take him down. But Moses said to the children of Israel, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And the Bible said that he smote the water and the water began to go up. A heap on this side and a wall on that side. And the Bible said they began to go through on dry ground. Men passed through the ocean. Oh yes. When they got through on the other side, I believe that they said, there is no God like under God. I want to say tonight, there is no God like our God tonight. Men went through on dry shot. Amen. Will he fight your battle? Has he ever fit a battle for you tonight? 
things that you didn't know how to handle. Uh, things now you got to get uh, to where you can see this. They some folks, and I'm not being hateful tonight. Uh, they some folks ain't never going to praise the Lord. I don't care who preaches. I don't care who sings. It just don't matter. I bet you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I bet you don't give God the praise. I bet you don't give God the honor and the glory. Because God has done more for you than your mama could do. The Bible said that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Before you was even born, he was walking the sandy shores of Galilee. Brother, going to pay a price. The price of your sin. Amen. Let's look on. The Bible said, amen, that they was a leper. Amen. Ten lepers. They began to cry out to Jesus. And they said, Lord, Lord, would you come and make us whole? And the Bible said that Jesus touched them. Hallelujah. And said, go thy way and show yourself to the priest. And the Bible said, when they turned and walked away, all of the leprosy was gone. And hallelujah. Nine of them went on, but one returned. I believe he had to come back home and say to Jesus, there is no God like our God. Muhammad, I ain't even got enough sense to know about the gods of this world. I don't know who Muhammad is. I don't know nothing about Muslims. I don't know nothing about Buddha. All oh, that stuff's strange to me anyway. But I know who made the sun. I got up this morning. I know who made the water come down out of the heavens. I want to say it again. There is no God. A brother like my God. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. When you thought you were going down, when you thought that you was going to be destroyed, hallelujah, hallelujah, and God came in just that, of the nick of time. Anybody know what I'm talking about? How when it seemed like that the enemy come in like a flood, it seemed like all hell had broke loose. And then all of a sudden, look what Jesus had done now. The Bible said he's already opened it up the eyes of the blind. And that was a great, great thing. Amen. But some said it was maybe magic. Some said it was Satan. The spirit of Beelzebub. He had done touch the lepers. Oh, but one night on the sandy, amen, out on the shore, of Galilee. The Bible said the sea was a raging. The lightning was a flashing. The wind was a blowing. And Jesus walked up to the stern. No magic in this. Hallelujah. No spirit of bells above in this. He took that hand that had not been yelled yet and stretched it out over that ocean and said peace be still. Hallelujah. And old Peter looked at John and said, what man or a man is this? I bet even the wind. I'm going to say, Peter, that's my God. I want to declare tonight, if I don't ever live another day, the God that made the heaven, the God that made the earth, that God, brother, is my God tonight. Woo! There is no God like my God. There is no God like my God. Oh, Joel, the Bible said, amen, Shadrach. I'm just preaching a little few Bible stories. That's all right, ain't it? I don't know Greek and Hebrew, and they ain't studied this, and they ain't studied that. I don't need that. I just need to know who he is. The Bible said here they was. Amen. Walking in the midst of that furnace. And the Bible said that old Nebuchadnezzar, I said, did we not cast three men bound in the fire? He said, but lo, I see four. Amen. Loose and walking around. I praise God. And the fourth man is likened unto the Son of God. How did he know that, Rodney? Of the same way you knew it. Of the night that he began to speak and call your name. Hallelujah. I believe Nebuchadnezzar would say, there is no God like this God. I can deliver men out of the fire. Hallelujah. There is no God like my God. Hallelujah. Hey, man, what's he done for you? 
Hey, man, can you say that tonight? Some of you can't. The preaching's just becoming old, just like another CD to you. Hey, man, the Lord don't mean much to you. You need to get revived in your spirit. Fall back in love with him again. I go around looking up at the clouds and saying, God, they ain't no God like you. They ain't nobody to be compared to you. Well, the Bible said that old Daniel prayed three times a day. And they made a decree against that mighty man and said no one is to pray or ask any petition of their God. The Bible said that they be thrown into a den of lions. Well, old Daniel, I went yonder and opened up his window and began to pray. And the Bible said that they come and got Daniel and throwed him in the den of lions. But the old king knowed he wasn't right. He knowed that they was a man of God that was in them lions den. And he fasted all night. And in his mind he wondered how will God bring Daniel out alive. But the next morning he went down yonder to the lions den. Hallelujah caused the stone had to be rolled away from from that den and hollered in there and said, hey, Daniel, have you the serve that God continually? Has he delivered you out of the mouth of the lion? And inside of that voice of that den of lions, I come a voice that going out, oh, king, I live forever. I believe he might have said, there is no God like my God. Hallelujah. There is none like mine. Now, I'm about done. Hey Amen. If you ain't been in the fiery furnace, it'd be hard for you to shout a little bit. If you ain't been in the lines then, it'd be hard for you to shout. But I guarantee if you live for the Lord very long, it ain't going to take long before you have to go where Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego and the Bendigo win. It ain't gonna be long till they put you in the den of lions. But if you'll stray through to him, you'll come out just like they did. And you'll be able to ride back like Jeremiah and say, who's lacking under thee, O Lord? Who can be compared to who you are? I praise God. Well, let me close with this. I just wanted you to know before you clock into work on Monday morning, there is no God. I like your God. Hallelujah. There is no God. I like your God. Nobody to be compared to him. Well, they crucified him. They killed him. They did. And the Bible said they laid him in the tomb. But oh, Mary Magdalene, she came back early that morning and found the stone was rolled away. She came and told the disciples that Jesus had risen. Amen. That they, uh, the angels said that he had appeared unto them. Uh, that he had risen and said, go tell the disciples. Well, John and Peter went down yonder to the tomb. Had uh, to see about where the Lord was. Uh, you know the story. Uh, but apparently Peter and John went back home. Uh, but Mary Magdalene, uh, she just hung around a little while. And the Bible said, uh, she saw a man in the garden. Hallelujah. <laughs> And when she saw him in the garden, how she supposed that he was of the keeper of the tomb, of the keeper of the garden. And she hollered out, hey man, where have you took him? Where have you laid him? I'll go and bury him away. Where's he at? But the Bible said that Jesus looked at her. And when he called her name, Mary, he meant she knew then who that he was. I'm going to tell you, he's got a voice like nobody else can. He's got a voice tonight that when he calls, the water obeys his voice. He was so powerful that the sun was going down on Joshua. He was fighting five kings and it was going to get dark. He didn't want to have to get up in the morning and fight another battle. And the Bible said that he looked up at the sun and said, son, I stand thou still. And all of a sudden, the sun that was going down, I just stood still upon the man of God. Hey, Joshua, what do you say about him? There is no God like her God. Hallelujah. There is none like unto him. Well, Mary, what'd you say to him? I called him Rabboni. A master. 
Amen. I tell you, if he was there and I sent him, I'd run to him too. Wouldn't you? As she ran to him. And she was getting ready to behold him and to touch him. And the Lord said, Mary, I touch me not. I've not yet ascended under your God and under my God. Woo! I want to say tonight, uh, one of the deepest valleys that I ever been in, uh, the devil blessed me. Hey Amen. I got such a blessing out of the devil. Uh, you say, preacher, I don't understand. Hey Amen. The devil seemed like was riding on my shoulders. I got down to pray. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And I couldn't get nowhere with God. And you're going to be like that a few times, young convert. And you're going to pray and pray. And the devil jumped on my back and said, where's your God now? I where's your God that you serve now? And then the Holy Ghost just spoke to me and said, the devil's done witness it. Amen. He's declared that you're not his God, but the, the, the God of the heaven. I said, thank you, devil. And all of a sudden, I said, devil, you finally told the truth. Amen. He's my God. And though my God may not come today, and you be well assured, a deliverance will come. Uh, for six trials, uh, yea, a man falls. Uh, six times, uh, yea, even in the seventh, uh, he'll rise again. Uh, I want to say tonight, uh, after 26 years uh, of being a Christian, uh, there is no God like my God tonight. When was that, sister? Hey, man, Perkins, January. Is that when you told me that happened? She said, I told the Lord. She said, I'm not very, I'm not very bold with words and I don't know a lot of people here. She said, but I told the Lord I'd come and tell it. So she told me back there on the back. And I didn't have no plans to tell it, but I'll tell it now. She said, in January, she said, during the service here, I was up opening or the spirit, she said, the spirit of the Lord, I was moving. And I, I that word, what'd you call it? Can you just tell me that word? Demaculate degeneration. That was what was in Sister Dina's eyes. A demaculate degeneration. And I remember when the Lord healed her. And the doctor had told her that day, hey amen, that's exactly what she had. But while watching on the service that night, well, there is no God like my God. Hallelujah. How we was testifying about Sister Dina. Hey amen, how that she had an x-ray of showing one thing one day. But after the saint of God. I gathered around her and poured oil on her head and anointed her. Oh Lord, ain't you glad you're a preacher? Hey, ain't you glad you're a preacher? I'm glad I'm there. Ain't no God like my God. Hallelujah. While she was doing that and watching that service, that's God give her the faith to believe. And the doctor said, don't worry about this no more. I just go on home and worry about COVID. Well, doctor, we ain't got to worry about COVID either because there there is no God. Woo, hallelujah. There is no God like our God. No God. I'm wanting to quit. <coughs> but I want to just brag on him a little more. Can you testify to that tonight? Come on up here, Sister Anya. Can you sing that song tonight about calling his name? He called my name. Zacchaeus was a little bitty feller. He was a little bitty feller. He couldn't get to the Lord. He, man, he knew that there's a great press coming. But he wanted to see him real bad. He thought that he may see a miracle. That he may see something done. I saw Zacchaeus. I climbed up in a sycamore tree. He got up there. And he's looking out the road. Here he comes. Uh, but the Lord wasn't coming to nobody else uh, but to one man that day. You remember the night that it came to you? I believe if you could testify after God forgive you of all his, all of your sins, I took his red blood and washed away your sins. Amen. Born again of incorruptible seed. Oh, bless his holy name. I believe your spirit would say the same thing that Jeremiah said. There is no God. I didn't know what peace was, but I know what peace is now. I didn't know what love was, but I know what love is now. Oh, Zacchaeus up in that tree. 
Amen. And lo and behold, he's not going to the right. He's not going to the left. Amen. He come right to where that tree was. And now Jesus and Zacchaeus had never spoke a word to nobody. Hadn't spoke to each other forever. It was, they never even looked at each other. But Jesus looked up in that tree and said, Zacchaeus, I wonder how he knowed his name. There is no God like my God. Jeremiah said, when I was in my mother's womb, before I was even conceived, he anointed me. He knew I was there. Hallelujah. There is no God like my God. John the Baptist said, when I was in my belly, he loved my mommy. Amen. Just the greeting of my Lord's mother. He said, I started leaping. There is no God like my God. He's got the power in the wind. He's got the power of the hell and the snow. Amen. He makes the wind blow on the mountain. He causes the grass to grow on the tops of the hills. Bless his name. Bless his name. There is no God like our God. There is none to be compared. Amen to him. Hallelujah. Well, amen. Go ahead, sister. There is no God. Can you say it with me tonight? There is no God like our God. Can you say it again? There is no God like our God. If you're in trouble, just say it loud. If you're down and out, just say it out. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of the Lord comes in like a flood, you lose your shame. She told me tonight, she said, I'm not a bit bold. I'm backwards when I get around people. But when the Holy Ghost comes, there is no God like her God. The Bible said, amen, that Jesus came to that tree, looked up and said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for I must abide at thy house today. Oh, praise God. Ain't you glad tonight of the Jesus? I come to your house one day and stay. Amen with you. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. There is no God. Well, let me say this before you sing on you. I've listened to you. See if you can figure out who this is. I was in paradise. I was down there. I entered in to Abraham's bosom. Mary and Martha, amen, was my sisters. Amen. Abraham, you've been looking for him. He's here. Amen. He was up in Judea, and I've been down here, and he's coming back again down to Mary and Martha's house. I've been down here in paradise uh, with Abraham and all the saints asleep. I've been down here with them uh, for four days now. Amen. Oh, yeah. Hey, hallelujah. I feel like preaching now, honey. I know I should have done been quitting, oh, but I feel like I'm preaching a little bit more. I'm telling you a little bit more. There is no God like our God. And the Bible said, the Bible said, that Jesus said, Mary, where have you laid him? Ain't nobody ever talked like him. I love Moses, but Moses can't hold nothing to him. I love David and Isaiah and Jeremiah and all of them and Solomon, but they can't hold a light to him. Amen. Jesus said, thy brother shall live again. See if you hear anybody ever talk like this before. See if you hear anybody ever say something like this. Amen. Jesus said he'll live again. And Martha said, Lord, I know in the resurrection at the end of the world he'll live again. But Brother James, Jesus opened his mouth and said, Martha, I am of the resurrection. And though he were dead, yet shall he live again. Believe us now then. Hallelujah. They ain't no God, brother, like our God tonight. <sighs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was down there in paradise. I was talking to Abraham. They all died in the faith, not yet receiving the promise. They embraced it, but they didn't receive it. 
Oh, but God's provided some better things for us. And the scripture said, hey man, that Martha and Mary was told by Jesus, I roll the stone away. I roll it away. And they said, Lord, by this time, he stinketh. But Jesus said, I told his thou, if thou wouldest believe. And they roll the stone away. And with a loud voice, oh, down yonder, down yonder in paradise, amen, down yonder with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, of the great patriarchs that we read about in Hebrews 11, of the somebody getting ready to be summoned. And with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And all of a sudden, Abraham, I said, what's wrong with you? Hey, man, I can hear Lazarus. I said, I hear a voice. I hear a voice. I hear a voice. It's a call of me from this world. I will thank God. There's a coming in the morning. It's really, really soon. Well, hallelujah. Of that all them of that sleep in the ground are going to hear his voice. Hallelujah. And we're going to rise. Sing it, sister. Lord, have mercy. Sing it, sister. There is no God. Sing it. Turn her up, Caleb. How can you explain? Four days. Your God to call your own name. Called my name. I heard wow. his voice. Wow. He called my Thank name. You, Jesus. I made my choice, and I knew my. The Bible mind. said that Lazarus came seen. forth, wrapped in grave clothes, and Jesus looked to him and said, "Lucy, and let him go." You know what? Let me just tell y'all something the Lord showed me. Amen. Keep saying it. You know what happened after that? That was the first sign and the first type of resurrection we see. That was in chapter number 11. You know what in chapter number 12 happened? He's at supper with Jesus. You know what's going to happen after the resurrection? You know what's going to happen? Blessed are they that are called for the marriage supper of the Lamb. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. One supper after a while. One supper after a while. Sing it, sister. Ain't you glad? Let's praise him tonight. Oh, let's praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. After he called. Did you ever took the cancer away? The test said one thing today and then tomorrow said something different. I mean, what's the Lord did for you? Anybody want to stand and testify? Anybody want to stand and testify what the Lord did for you? Do it right now. Right now. What's Jesus saying? Stand and testify what the Lord did for you. Get up right now. Get up right now, Terry. Praise God. Save, save my soul. Save my soul from a devil's hell. I was a dating Christy. I thought about this the other day, Mama. I was a dating Christy. And we, I was, we, she lived over at the lake. The Holy Ghost told me. Now I met a young teenage boy that loves his, loves, loves his girlfriend on a Saturday night. He ain't going to be home at 8.30. 30. Nine o'clock, the Holy Ghost told me to go home. Your mama needs you. That's what the Holy Ghost told me when I was over at my over at my Christie's house to date her then. Holy Ghost said, Sister Charlie, you need to go home. Well, I got home, and here's what my mama was doing. My mama was on the couch. Daddy was lost then. My mama was doing this. Doing that. I said, Lord, mama, what's wrong? What's wrong? And daddy said, I've been trying my best 
had to get her to go to the hospital. Said she'd been like that for the last hour. But the Holy Ghost was working. Holy Ghost was working. I just won't stop just a minute. If y'all didn't, if y'all don't know what my text is, I'm gonna tell it to you again. There is no God like my God. And I said, well, Mama, I guess the Lord has sent me home to pray for you, to pray for you. I took these hands. Amen. There ain't nothing in my hands. I ain't got no power. He's your God, too. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't, amen. It ain't that he's just my God. He's your God, too. I took my hands and I laid on her. And I mean, I really believed that God was going to do it. I prayed with every earnest bit I got. My daddy just sit there and watched us. He was a lost man then, mind you. He was a lost man. And I prayed and I said, God, in the name of Jesus, would you touch her? Lord, would you heal her? God, would you make her better? And in Jesus' name, I said, amen. And I looked at her. It was no better. It was no better. And my daddy's a lost man. He's sitting there watching his wife go through what this. Amen. He's getting aggravated. He's a wanting to go get checked out. He's a wanting to go to the hospital. Amen. He sat there and sat there. He said, I'm going to crank a vehicle. I said, hold on a minute, Daddy. I said, let me pray again. I said, let me pray one more time. I laid my hands back on Mama. Am I telling you right, Mommy? I laid my hands back on my mama. Amen. Tears. Jack was coming off her face. She's hurting so bad. Amen. I laid my hand on her again and I prayed again. And nothing. Nothing. Daddy's are getting more aggravated. Amen. He's worried his wife's going to die. He's worried his wife's going to die. He's finally said, you get your shoes on your mommy. I'm going down here to crank and warm a vehicle up. I said, all right. That old devil jumped on my back and said, see there, your God's dead. Your God don't hear you. Your God ain't nothing. Amen. I reached down there and put my mama couldn't even put her shoes on. I reached down there and got, my, got mama's shoes, put the shoes on her feet. Amen. I said, mommy, if I could, I'd like to pray one more time. One more time for you. Daddy's in our crank in the vehicle. I laid hands. It wasn't no big prayer. It wasn't no amen big thing. I just said, Jesus, 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 would you touch her, Lord? Would you touch her? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I finally got her up. Amen. Her stomach was hurting her so bad. I don't know what it is to this day. Whether it's a kidney stone or appendix or whatever. But I do know one thing. Amen. I was helping her over. And when her hand touched the doorknob, something out of the glory world. Amen. Filled her soul. Am I telling you right? And that's exactly what she started doing. That's exactly what she started doing. Hey, man, right there. Daddy come running back up the steps and said, what's wrong? What's going on? What's going on? She said, look, Jack. She said, I'm raising up now. Look at me, Jack. I'm, I'm all right. I won't tell you one more time. There is no God like my God. There is no God like my God. There's no God like my God. Anybody else? You got a story to tell? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Go to work Monday. Have a good week. Hope to all week long when you pray. Hope you remember this. There is no God like our God. Shake hands. Good night. God bless you. I mow a yard for a man. He's 92 years old. It's just 625. He's 92 years old. He calmed on my side beside this week, and uh, I went and sprayed around crossbow to kill his rose bushes. Rode all over that farm for me. He's 92 years old. He ain't got a he. He's just like a 40 year old boy, man out there. He the farthest thing from his mind's death. 
He's wanting me to get that thing cleaned up and do all that. Where most people are thinking, who cares about that? He's out there farming, climbing, woven wire fence, 92 years old. And we've been over our herb hunting this week, me and my boy. We was up in our pill and chair, or Ellen Bark, and we was up in there, and there's an old building up there. There's an old building up there. And he asked me, he said, do you see that old Church of God building up there? And I said, well, I've seen it. I've seen that old, I thought it was a house. I said, I've seen that old house up there. He said, no, it's a church. He said, it's a church of God. And he said, this river, of course, there's all rose bushes, and that's what I was spraying to kill them for him. And that river, that creek bank had, had really grown up. But he said, years ago when I was a boy, he said, when I was a boy, he said, they, they traveled this creek bank, this creek, going up out of that church in that mountain. I mean, it's way back up in the mountain, folks. He really was. And he said, when I was a boy, we know it was church time because we could hear them coming up the creek. Woo! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, there'd be a shouting and a praising God. And he said, they'd go right, go right by our house a shouting. And he said, we'd get on the back porch. He said, me and mommy and daddy and all his brothers and sisters. And said, we'd listen to him up there in the old church of God. He said, we'd listen to him up there shouting, hollering and preaching and glorifying God. And he said, it'd be way up in the night. And he said, back in, they didn't have no air conditions. And said, we slept with the windows open and the screen, and the screens open. He said, I could hear them. Amen. After church was over, he said, they're coming back down the creek. And he said, we could hear them. Woo! And he said, my memory of that old church is them folks are shouting all the way of coming, all the way of leaving, a shouting while they're there. I mean, Lord God, I mean, their God was my God. Amen. Their God is your God. Why don't we come a shouting? Hey Amen. Why don't we come a praising? I, th I can't wait to Wednesday night. I think I'm just going to come through the back door preaching. 